Good morning. I would like to do an update on the compost. First of all, thank you for being a Patreon member and supporting me in this great work to bring forth great information to show everybody how to grow a garden. What we're going to do today is look at this compost. This compost has been turned a total of five times now, which is not very many times, but now it has started to cool off. So this started by showing you the materials we had before boot camp, and then at boot camp we put it together and I had an update, and then we had the update where we put the two piles together because the we were testing to see what the smallest compost pile we could make is that would still heat up and do its function, and uh, five... The five gallon buckets, you know, just 10 buckets was not enough to make it work really well. So we've turned this now. So we combined the piles together, is what I'm getting at. And we've turned this, and now it's been um, five days since I turned it the last time. And it <coughs> heated up, it got up to 100 and about five degrees. I'm really hoping this is focusing right here. But it got up to about 105 degrees. And we were able to, there we go, but today it's at 80, 1, 2, 3, 4, it's at 84 degrees, and so it's cooling down. So what we want to know about this is, what do we do now? So there, we have options at this point. All of the compost material did get into the hot metal at one point so it should have killed the majority of the weed seeds in this material if there were weed seeds in it so it got hot enough long enough so this pile we could say now it is done with the thermophilic stage because it it, it the last time i turned it, it got up to 101 102 something like that and then it came back down and so it's down to whatever the temperature is today. I just barely looked at it. 80, 82, 84, 84 degrees. So one, this shows you, and this is how you tell when you're done. Now if this would have been a bigger pile, it probably would have heated up again and got to 131 for three days and stayed that way. Because the bigger the mass, the better your pile. I mean, to a point, if it's the size of Mount Everest, it's too big to turn, so you need to keep your piles manageable. But uh, a pile of like 70 five gallon buckets to start with is a good pile, is a good mass to start with. So this one was a total of like 20, 25, 20 to 25 buckets. So that's kind of the minimum size to make a pile. If you don't, you're going to have problems with it heating up. And you're going to have problems with it staying hot enough. So the mass, the size of your pile materials to start with is really important. Now, what do we do with this now? Well, we could turn it one more time to introduce oxygen. And then have this pile... Um, see if it heats up again. There's a possibility it could heat up again uh, to a thermophilic stage once we turn it. And, and if it did, then we would just wait for the timing. For instance, if it got up to 150, we would wait for two days and then turn it again. But we wouldn't have to. But that's a good idea. The other option is we just leave it alone like this for four or five, six months and let the fungus grow and thrive. But this is here in my greenhouse in the middle of my row, and I don't want it to do that because I'm, I'm gonna be planting things here soon because spring is on the way. I mean, we're, we're into February now. We're halfway through February. So what we need to do is move this pile. So we will turn it one more time because we're gonna move it. And where are we gonna move it to? We need to move it somewhere where we can have the fungus start to grow like crazy. So we could move it into the root cellar that I have for compost. Or we could put it on top of the worm bin, which is what I am going to do. 
So I'm going to bring that compost and I'm going to put it on my worm bin here and let the worms start working it and eating it. Now you can see on top of this worm bin, there's a lot of detritus on there. Just the, the trash, the, all, all those sticks and garden waste is detritus. So all of that stuff needs to be composted before it's in that condition. So I could cover that up, but I'm probably going to move it back and we could um, just kind of keep that on the top of the compost pile. So all of this right here, this kind of thing right there, this is just going to be moved back. So I'm just going to kind of rake it just a little bit. See, now we have, now we're down to worm castings right here. So I'll move most of that back. And then we will put the compost on top of here. And that'll be the last thing I do with this compost. So for those of you who came to boot camp and helped build this compost, now you see what happens. We take it from there, we put it on the worms. The worms will eat this. And as I continue to fill this up over the next year, eventually that compost pile that we're looking at today is gonna end up coming out at the bottom of this worm bin as a finished vermi compost. So we do the, fir the first section of the compost as a thermophilic compost down there that we just looked at. Thermophilic means it gets hot. And then that kills the weed seeds. And then when we put it on here, there's no active living weed seeds in it. And so when it comes out the bottom, we won't have weed seeds. So hopefully this helps you to finish up your compost.